Hi. Thank you for letting me be a part of this celebration. I'm going to briefly show you a few projects that we've done and some that are right now being constructed. Each one is a different way of looking at a project. This first one is in Lonavla. Okay, if you look at the site, the site is situated on a road that leads from Lonavla city to Ambi Valley. And the site is what is marked red, very visibly. Now the site has a long frontage of 150 feet along the main road and beyond which there is this huge lake, beyond which there are hills. So the entire view is towards the frontage. Unfortunately, the sun also travels along this path, this being the southern side. So while each space had to look out towards the outside landscape and capture those views for the internal spaces, it is very important to shield those spaces simultaneously from the southern sun. So that actually brought about the whole concept of how the design has worked. Now the built area that we were required to construct in this is only 30,000 square feet in two acres of land, which is very small. The client's requirement was simply to make a food court, restaurant spaces, and an entertainment center. There being nothing of the kind in Lonavla as of now. So if you were to put all of that together in a rectangular shape, what you see on the left hand side is what you would have got. You would have had a building with complete frontage on the main road, but you would have had a very small amount of space, and there would have been no relation between the inside spaces and the outside spaces. So what you've done is actually woven the building very thinly, in and out of the site, creating open spaces that actually merge and are part of the building. When you're sitting inside the building, you actually feel like you're virtually sitting outside. Now this again is the evolution of the concept where because this building was so small and you wanted the spaces internally to be perceived as larger, as well as externally to be perceived as something much larger than what it is. So instead of juxtaposing elements against each other, what you've done is created a whole fluid, abstracted, folded skin of concrete that wraps around the surfaces from the left to the right with one volume in the middle, which is the highest, which has the food court descending down to sit on the garden. And at two opposite ends, the building actually kind of flies out towards the outside, capturing views of the mountains. This is the site plan at the ground floor level. The building had a natural slope towards the back, so we've used that to create a parking for about 100 cars. And parking areas are generally not provided for in places like Donabla. This is very important. So that parking, although it is a basement from the front, is like a podium at the back, so it's completely naturally ventilated and lit. The food court, which is down below. And the entertainment set Zeon is beyond, which doesn't nearly need to look out at anything. So the section through the side shows the entrance on the right hand side and the basement parking on the left hand side which is actually like a podium. This is how now in sequence you will see these photographs as you actually perceive the building when you go there. This is the entrance where there's a restaurant at the upper level which shields the porch because the entire building as I said earlier faces the south and southwest and there's the monsoon is very very heavy in Lonavla. So there's a huge amount of shielding done to each space which is within. So this is a close up when you come to the entrance and then when you turn. And this, what you see on the right hand side is a food court that is actually descending down from the higher volume into the lower volume, sitting in the middle of the landscape area. And this is the building when you're standing in the center looking out towards the right hand side. So the building descends down in the center and it flies up towards the outside on either side. The entire skin is concrete, folded, intrapezoidal planes running across from one end to the other.
these are the sh large shielded veranda spaces outside each one of the internal spaces. There were nine feet cantilevered roofs at each point. This is the building now when you are away with the food court coming down and the entire upper level climbing across. We created shallow pools of water next to the food court area which creates a cooling effect near the glass. That's again a view of those. There are retail shops at the furthest end inside. And this is the building when you see it from the extreme end. So this was the entire building in sequence, moving from the left to the right and seeing how you perceive the entire built form. The construction actually has been done at a reasonably low rate. The entire building, including the interior, air conditioning and all the services has worked out to 2,500 rupees a square foot. And there has been no complex system of shuttering used to create all these trapezoidal walls that actually fold across because we didn't have the budget to do that. But yet, the whole building has been achieved the way it was perceived. Each one of those internal spaces you can look at looks out directly towards the outside. You're sitting in the food court, you feel like you're sitting in the outside. Each one of the verandas that front the restaurant look out towards the lake and the mountains beyond. This is the internal space, the food court space which is two floors high with a sculpted roof going above it. And this is the central spine at the upper level which leads to restaurants on either side. So this is a close up view where you are sitting in the food court but you are as good as sitting outside. And that's the passage that takes you from the food court into the open area between the pools of water. So at each point in the building, you actually get a different composition of built form of open space of the entire relation of the building from the inside to the outside. That's the view. You can clearly see through the trees, there is a lake and then there are hills beyond. So it's a very interesting project, one of the smallest ones we've done in the last few years, but it was very satisfying to work with. Now this is a project that is currently under construction in Bandra. Art Society came to us with this project. They had a very small plot where the actual total constructed area allowed is only 24,000 square feet. In 24,000 square feet, only 12,000 square feet was to be built for them and the balance 12,000 square feet was to create office spaces which would generate income for the Art Society to run in a non-profit manner, allowing artists to display their work free of cost and things like that. Now we look back and saw where is art in India gone? You know, we could have done a very traditional looking building going back and taking inferences from what had been done before. But then art today is very contemporary. Contemporary art is being recognized the world over in India. So we thought that the building itself should also reflect the new age of art and be completely contemporary. And because this site is so small, we actually created the whole building in a series of fluid spaces which are intended to make all the internal spaces appear much larger than what they actually are. Now that's the location of the site with respect to the ceiling. 